Hey everyone, today we're looking at another historic rivalry and settling it once and for all. Green Day frontman Billy Joe Armstrong and Man on the Moon Neil Armstrong have never liked each other, but today their feud is getting even more intense. Let's break it down. First, let's look at their impact. Neil Armstrong was the first person to walk on the moon, but so what? I was the first person to walk on the freshly mopped floor today, but you don't see me bragging about it. Billy Joe Armstrong, on the other hand, invented the entire genre of punk rock, inspiring other bands such as the Ramones and The Clash, and always staying true to his roots. Next is their speed. Every good fighter needs to be fast. 21 Guns, one of Green Day's biggest hits, is at a fairly slow tempo of 84 beats per minute. On the other hand, the Apollo 11 spaceship landed at 2,040 miles per hour. This is a clear win for Neil. The final and most important category is, of course, their arm strength. Who is the stronger Armstrong? At first glance, it looks like Neil has a slight edge if we visually estimate their arm muscle mass. However, there's more to this story. With Neil, despite the fact that he and his equipment weigh 360 pounds on Earth, the moon's gravitational pull is only 17% compared to Earth. Therefore, he would effectively weigh 61.2 pounds. That's embarrassing! That's like a small child! There's no way his arms are stronger. It appears Billy Joe is the clear winner. Thanks for watching everyone. Let me know which historical feud we should settle next. Bye!